the rotation of a ball. Basically, a power shot is a shot with little rotation if the center of the air is exactly in the center of the foot. However, depending on the situation, it is quite powerful if you can use a non-rotating shot or a curva ball. Knuckle ball, basically, the one that is used a lot in the middle is the knuckle ball. But what I'm talking about right now is not a knuckle ball that is introduced a lot on YouTube and goes close to the inside, but a knuckle ball that hits the top of the foot. The center of the ball and the center of the foot are exactly right, and even the swing of the kick matches the direction you want to send the ball, making the shot a ball without rotation when it is impacted. However, in the actual game, most of the shots are aimed at that knuckle ball, but the ball is not stopped like a free kick, so beginners who are watching this course think it is reasonable to pursue a shot that is exactly impactful and extends with little rotation rather than a free kick. Anyway, you can understand that the pitch of the shot you need to pursue in the beginner amateur stage is close to a knuckleball, that is, a shot without much rotation. Then, if the impact is very good and becomes a knuckleball, the advantage of knuckleball is that the trajectory of the ball is difficult to predict, like all knuckleballs. In general, any ball is rotated into the ball, and the trajectory is stable and predictable. However, knuckleballs have the advantage of being difficult to predict because they react sensitively to surrounding air currents. Curve the ball. In modern football, curve the ball has become a synonym for a shot that looks at the far post and kicks as the opposite footed winger dribbled into the net. In fact, it may be a little far from the topic of today's power shot, but I think it's a skill in the big category of shooting, so I'll introduce it. Curve the ball is generally closer to the inside than the center of the foot I've been talking about, right? Anyway, my personal feeling is that the kick is a tiny difference in the foot, but one is a foot shot and one is a curve the ball. And it affects the bottom opposite to the direction in which the ball curves, not the center of the ball. But after years of teaching many ordinary students, it doesn't matter if you're conscious of the impact on the inside of your foot by doing a curve the ball, but if you're consciously missed at the center of the ball, your ball will fly to weak. So when I purposely teach children, I used to teach them that they don't care about curve the ball and kick it between the top of their feet and the inside, but rather than thinking that if they hit the curve ball on purpose, it becomes a curve by itself because of the swing of their legs. So, to sum up, Curve the ball is not about kicking the area outside the center of the ball. Just think of it as the center of the ball, and the foot is a little closer to the inside than the foot shot you're seeing. The reason why I keep explaining that it's a little closer to the inside than the kick is because I think it's a fine difference.